What is a turbocharger, or better known as a turbo? Let's get to it. What's up everyone? Sean here. And got my handy dandy note cards. That way I can make sure I'm telling every one of you the right information. At least I think so. It's all that counts. So, a turbo. If I get on the right page. A turbo is essentially a turbine. It's where it kind of gets its name from. And what it does is it increases an engine's efficiency, efficiency and power. And it does so by forcing extra air into the combustion chambers. That's basically what it does. Just sucks in all the air, sends it right to the motor. Turbos were originally known as turbo superchargers when all forced induction devices were classified as superchargers. So, back, way back in the day, it wasn't called a turbo. It was called a turbo superchargers. Supercharger. I don't know why I threw the S in there. Um, superchargers are mechanically driven, often by belt to the crankshaft. Turbos are powered by a turbine driven by exhaust gas. Gases. Turbos are made, are more efficient, but less responsive. They're a lot more efficient than superchargers, but the throttle response to power-wise isn't there. That's why you have to build up your boost in a turbo, whereas a supercharger, your power is there when, when you need it. Um, it's great for low end, you know, for superchargers. Turbos take a little bit of time to spool up. Um, turbos were invented by, I'm probably going to get this wrong, Alfred Bucci. Buchai? I have not a clue. And patented in 1905, which was a long time ago. I mean, that's over 120 years ago. I didn't know that that's when they were invented. The main objective is to improve the engine's volumetric efficiency. It, compared, it compresses air to send it to the manifold at increased pressure. Boost. What is boost? Boost refers to the amount by which intake manifold pressure exceeds atmospheric pressure. Overboost? Avoid engine knock? Keep your intake manifold pressure down by using a wastegate. What is turbo lag? Turbo lag is the time from the throttle to the power. That's what we're trying, kind of we're just talking about. Um, you're going to have a lag time from the time you put your foot into the gas pedal until you start getting to your boost. Um, spooling is to get the exhaust and turbo to generate the required boost. Boost threshold is different than turbo lag even though many get it confused which is the engine speed at which there is significant exhaust gas flow to generate positive manifold pressure or boost. The wastegate is on the exhaust side. The blow valve is on the vacuum from the intake manifold. Um, I tried finding the biggest turbo I could find. The biggest one I found so far was from Garrett and they have a 141 millimeter turbo. The smallest one I could find was a cheap little 20 millimeter turbo. Turbos are made from heat resistant cast steel on an average, 6 to 8 PSI's will net you 15 to 25 percent horsepower. Um, other things I can kind of think of, um, it's just basically a turbo is a power additor, kind of like nitrous, superchargers, blowers, it's just a power additor. Um, a lot of people like turbos, they're very efficient, like I said several times. You can make a lot of boost and a lot of horsepower. The only thing is, you need to help your motor and everything can withstand all that. Um, a lot of people you see nowadays, especially you know, big drag racers, they um, go to twin turbo. You know, a lot of people with nitrous motors pop a cylinder, blow the motor. That gets expensive. So if you can get twin turbos or turbos in general under control and you know what you're doing or have somebody that knows what they're doing you'll never look back you can always follow me on instagram at garage mishaps 
Twitter, at Garage Mishaps. Got a Facebook page, at Garage Mishaps. Look around, you'll find me. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up. I can always use it. Hit that subscribe button over there if you haven't hit it already. Till next time. Peace. What a turbocharger is. Or a turbo.